You know, one thing I've always hated about skate shoes is ripping laces. A few years ago, I was looking for a shoe that wouldn't rip. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this company called Stray. I mean, Jamie Thomas, Antoine Dixon, Chad Muska were a part of this. It had to be legit. That seems legit. So I went ahead and ordered myself a pair. And then they ended up looking like this. But I like them so much, I got another pair. A few months back, I filmed a video doing 100 kickflips in the strays. Figure you guys might want more detailed analysis of them, so here we go. Now the first thing I noticed was the flick on these shoes absolutely on point my kick flips every time but i was concerned because they were canvas they were gonna rip real bad like that these are useless to me now hit myself in the head to my surprise if you look in here if you look really closely you'll see that there's three layers of canvas but surprisingly these were more durable than any other shoe that I've ever skated. No break-in, because they're canvas, you just kind of go for it, you know? It's not like skating leather shoes. So there we were, happy campers. But what about the tread? Surprisingly, the tread on these is very, very durable. I've had a problem with every van shoe that I've skated that they will wear out in the tr <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's not just the tread. Van shoes wear out everywhere. I got the Vans Pro Model Series, and honestly, just by looking at them, you couldn't really tell a difference. I can't see the difference. Except for that every time that I've bought the Vans Classics Pro Models, they've always fallen apart some weird way in the toe cap or in the outsole. And just why would I spend extra and get a shoe that doesn't even last half as long? It doesn't make any sense to me. However, Vans branding is pretty cool. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I'm not rich and I'm just trying to skateboard. And if I can get shoes that last twice as long, that are 15 to $20 cheaper, I'm gonna do it. The Stray Venturas clock in at $45 a pair. Whereas the Vans Pro Edition can range anywhere from $55 to $65. So it's 10 to $20 more and they don't last as long. Plus they're not as comfortable. The insole that they put in these Stray shoes very slim, but it still gives you a lot of support. More support than any Vans shoe that I've ever skated. Now it might sound that I'm just like dogging on Vans. I honestly do think that Vans is like the OG skate company, like you're the best. But also, why is this new company giving us a better product for a better price? Like, I thought you were supposed to be for the skaters, but you're not. But hey, I still love their marketing and I'll still buy Vans stuff. But as far as shoes go, I'm sticking with Stray. So you might be thinking, Joe, you love these shoes, but they ripped. Well, every skate shoe rips, and to be honest, normally what I'll do is after I skate a pair of shoes three or four times, I'll actually preemptively shoe goo all the wear spots, and that way from there going forward, it's ripping off the goo and not the shoe. I've done that with these shoes, and they last forever. If you do it right, the tread will start to go away before the rest of the shoe, and on these shoes, the tread lasts a long time. And your boy, he only skates canvas. Imagine, imagine, imagine the suede shoes. I bet those things last forever. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I mean, like if you want a cop, it's just gonna make me really rich and really wealthy. I'm too small to make money off YouTube. <laughs> the last thing I wanna say about these shoes is in my video where I did 100 kickflips in these shoes, I got kind of concerned about how the toe cap was wearing down. After I did those 100 kickflips, the toe cap just stopped wearing down. It just stayed right there the entire time. Okay, it wore down a little bit, 
But these shoes lasted me a while, and you can tell they have a lot more flick in them. If I would have shoe gooed the upper, these things would have carried me for months. Months. Okay, well, I guess that means the video is done. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll be putting out more videos. In case you're wondering how to shoe goo a shoe properly, I'm going to post a tutorial on that in one of the next videos. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for what's coming up. All right, people of the internet, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.